Hi, I'm Dennis. Welcome to my office. I like to take uh, walking sessions with my clients. Not too shabby. We'll have to come back here in February to see how this holds up. You know, before I talk to you about myself, let's talk about you. Let's start with the assumption that you feel at your best, you function anyway, at your best, when you are moving forward. And you've caught a glimpse of what your life could be like if you were to spend more of it in that state of forward motion rather than being so rutting stuck all the time. And there's kind of like a hope there too. Like when you catch that vision, that glimpse of yourself moving forward, you can almost believe like that's who I am. That's who I essentially could be. At the same time, you can't deny that something about that person remains unreleased. It's like an unsung song inside you. And if you get stuck long enough, you stop daring to even believe that this could be true about you. I'm not really gonna sugarcoat this. If you're gonna release this version of you, it's gonna be really uncomfortable, painful. There's going to be some uh, feelings and experiences that are truly a bummer. Just loads of uncertainty as well. Just moments of stark terror followed by abject failure. So if I haven't convinced you yet to work with me, I've got one more piece of unfortunate news, and that is that you are not gonna win the lottery on account of you have already won the greatest lottery ever. So easily 99% of all the humanity that has ever existed would consider their prayers answered just to be you right now. So I just say this to encourage you, there really hasn't been a better set of conditions, better time for you to get started on this project of unfolding the fullness of your capacities back into the universe. This is really it. This is your moment, fellow journeyer. So that's what I wanted you to know about you. So here's a little bit about me. I uh, am fairly new to the game of psychotherapy. I started counseling in 2016, thousands of hours of supervision, um, working with people in the inner city of Buffalo, New York. Got the New York State license to practice psychotherapy independently in New York State uh, just this year, 2021. Um, prior to that, I was uh, developing software for a living for 20 years, sitting in a cubicle, fluorescent lights, turning your mental health into a garbage dump but uh thankfully i found tools that helped me to uh get unstuck and find my own forward motion prior to that i was a librarian and prior to that i was a documentary filmmaker i practiced meditation and other evidence-based psychotherapeutic practices i um i love wisdom and i seek out mystical experiences so i kind of bring a yin and yang of rational and irrational elements to my life and my psychotherapeutic practice as far as who has influenced me the most if you appreciate people like albert ellis if you've read the book uh the tools by phil stutz and barry michaels if you know anything about dialectical behavior therapy from marsha lenahan You've read Carl Jung. How about Terence McKenna? Ever hear some of his ravings? Oh, and then there's Alan Watts. Can't forget Alan freaking Watts. So if you appreciate any of these folks, then you know where I'm coming from. Some folks today that I really enjoy too are Sam Harris and Jordan Peterson. Love those guys so much. I hopped on a plane a few years ago and watched them talk with each other in Vancouver. These guys are the uh, rock stars of wisdom, in my opinion. As far as who I feel like I work best with, really runs the gamut. I, uh, I can work with atheists, I can work with religious people. I've been able to collaborate 
beautifully with free market capitalists and Marxist activists. The thing that everyone has in common is a lifelong commitment to seeking. Something about how all of us seem to care a lot about the space between our ears. When it comes to your class or your skin color, your gender, who you like to have sex with, these, I'm convinced, are probably the least interesting facts about you. So lastly, I want to say something about death. The idea that while we're trying to become something here, it's obvious that there is a moment coming when we will cease to be. And I'm not sure we appreciate this enough. And I'm not sure we've dealt with that problem of not knowing how much time is left on the clock. So, a big part of what I'm doing for myself and for others is helping us to change our relationship to death. So, uh, yeah, I really count it a privilege that you and I are existing in the same moment right now. And uh, I'm really grateful to you also that you're considering working with me. Thanks. Cheers.